Shalom. I'd like to start off by giving all praises, all honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Citations to you brothers out there through the four corners of the earth, teaching the truth and sincerity. Okay. And I want to do a quick lesson on who is thy neighbor? Okay. Who is thy neighbor? All right. Because on the highways and byways, you know, you simple jakes out there and you Edomites, you so-called white people, you like to say, love thy neighbor as thy love thyself. Okay. But you don't know what that means. Okay. You don't know what, you don't know who, who, who is your neighbor. Okay. And when we're speaking of our neighbors, okay, as far as the scriptures, it's speaking on fellow Israelites. All right. And I and let's just go over this proof with scripture, okay? Matthew twenty two and thirty four, okay. But when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together, okay. Now that's speaking when he has put the Sadducees to silence. That's speaking on Yahweh Shai, okay? Because when you re read the verses up. It tells you that the Sadducees were trying to tempt Yahweh Shai. Okay. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him, saying, "Master, which is the which is the great commandment in the law?" Yahweh Shai said unto him, "Thou shalt love thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind." This is the first and great commandment. Here's the point. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So I want to go read the point over verse 39. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. All right. Now let's look up the word neighbor. Okay. Okay, Matthew twenty two and thirty nine. Neighbor. Okay, it's in a Greek. It says a neighbor, a friend, any other person. And who, Salah, and where two are concerned, the other, thy fellow man, thy neighbor, according to the Jews, any member of the Hebrew nation and commonwealth and commonwealth, okay? That is your neighbor, okay? Only Israelites are your neighbors. Okay, and them are the neighbors that we're speaking to. When it says love thy neighbor, it's talking about fellow Israelites. It's talking about fellow brethren. Israelites according to the flesh. Okay, there's no such thing as when you people say, well, I'm a spiritual Israelite. No, you heathens cannot be Israelites. Okay. Only Israelites are according to the flesh. So let's read that again. It says, Thy fellow man, thy neighbor, according to the Jews, any member of the Hebrew nation and commonwealth. Okay? So that consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You will be considered my neighbor because you are my fellow brethren. According to the flesh. Now, we know. For is the two thirds of you, you're still my uh, you're still my brethren, okay. But my brothers and sisters are out here that's doing the works, okay. Them are my brothers and sisters. 
Let's read C. It says, according to Yahweh Shai, any other man, irrespective of nation or religion, with whom we live or whom we chance to meet. Let's look up that word, irrespective. Irrespective says not taking something into account regardless of, regardless of, without regard to, for notwithstanding, whatever, no matter what, without consideration of. All right. So what Esau is basically trying to say was this. According to the Messiah, any other man regardless of nation or religion with whom we live or whom we chance to meet so basically Esau is trying to put and say that's everybody okay everybody is your, is your neighbor which that's not true okay we just read what your your fellow neighbor will be will be your will be your your brethren your kindred one of your own nation okay Read B again. It says any other person and where two are concerned, the other thy fellow man, thy neighbor, according to the Jews, any member of the Hebrew nation and commonwealth. Okay? That is who your neighbor is. So when we so when you people on the highways and byways say you need to love your neighbor as you love thyself. We are loving our brethren and we love ourselves, okay? We treat our brothers with charity, okay? We have we have respect unto one another. But you other nations, you are not our brethren. Okay? So the point of the of the lesson is your neighbor is your fellow Israelite brethren. Okay? That is who your neighbor is. So with that, I hope someone out there was edified. Shalom.